Hey guys, I'm back. So, the video overview we are going to be doing today is the Gentex 900 series with heat sensor. So, when you open up the package, you get the hardwire wires. The smoke detector itself. Looks like some instructions and mounting bracket. So this is all the stuff you get in the package. I just got it all unwrapped and I just read all the instructions. So first of all, I just want to put this out. This smoke detector is photoelectric, which means it detects um, slow smoldery fires and that sort of stuff. So um, speaking of detection, this is how the smoke detector detects smoke. There's like infrared infrared lasers that shoot out and it's kind of, it's infrared so it's invisible, you can't see it. When smoke rises to the infrared lasers, it it reflects on the sensor inside and triggers an alarm. Um if that doesn't work, it also comes with a heat sensor if you get this model. And the heat sensor can go up to it sounds when it has 135 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So, um, how you mount it on is you basically screw it on in, in the back. So, this model also comes with a battery and, um, so it says pull battery, pull battery. So you're just gonna pull it, and it looks like it comes with a battery too. So that's that's good. So I think what you do to insert the battery is you just clip it on in and slide it in here. Okay, so I'm gonna not get into details on this, but to hardware, you the package comes with these wires and the. I have the Gentex 900 series and that concludes the heat sensor and a battery backup. So the battery backup, keep in mind once the hardwire dies, the battery can only last for up to 24 hours. So once the battery dies, it's 24 hours until the smoke detector starts beeping. So the hardwire and you just plug this in and um, hook these wires up to your smoke detector system. So smoke detectors should be usually tested weekly and they should be put on every level of your home and inside and outside of every bedroom. I strongly recommend getting a, uh, this type of smoke detector so you can protect your home. Also, you should not just have full electric alarms, you should also have ionization alarms. Until next time, peace out.